As the saying goes, you only get one chance to make a good first impression. And this is definitely the case when sending out your recruitment sales emails. We all know prospecting and recruitment is a competitive game, so you can't afford to take any chances. But what are these common blunders and how can we increase our read to reply rates and win more business? The first common mistake is addressing your email incorrectly. It can be as simple as misspelling your prospect's name or sending your email to the wrong person completely. Do your research. Find out who the decision maker is and proofread. It doesn't take much to get this part right. Then we have blowing it with a subject line. If it sucks, it'll just end up in the bin. No matter how great the content is, and 33% of email recipients open email based on subject line alone. So keep it simple. Personalise it, address the recipient, offer value, and try to create some urgency. This could look like, David, some interesting new info on your target candidate market. Research has shown that a personalised subject line can increase the chances of your email being opened by 22%. And no matter how genuinely great you think your agency is, Feeding your prospect a two-paragraph story and how amazing and successful your company is just isn't going to win them over at this stage. Focus on the prospect and the potential challenges they might be having and explain how you can help. This could look like, David, I see you're hiring for data positions. I have recently helped ex-competitor with a similar challenge and wondered if you'd like to have a chat to talk through what I was able to deliver for them. But remember, don't win to overkill. If your email is too long, it won't get read. Even if you've crafted the best email you can, packed with value, backed up with proof. A good check for this is, if you've found yourself highlighting a sentence or two within your email just to get some important information, just think about how you can cut to the chase and get to those sentences quicker. The best prospecting emails spark interest with a short, persuasive, and easy to read interesting points. Delete all the jargon, just get to the point. Now we can't forget the fundamental reason for your email is to convince your prospect to perform an action. This could be email you back, pick up the phone, or agree to a meeting. So if it's not immediately clear what your prospect has to do and what steps they need to take to move forward, then your email has failed. Try and avoid using a vague CTA, like I look forward to hearing from you. Keep it prompt and clear. When would you be available this week for a 10 minute call? So I can learn a bit more about what you're looking for with this new hire. Let me know how you all get on. Thanks.